Morning everybody, welcome to today's children's liturgy. It's the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's Gospel, we hear another parable. Do you remember what a parable means? Well, a parable is a story with a heavenly meaning. So it's a story that Jesus told to teach people about things that were quite complicated. So in today's Gospel, he's teaching people about the Kingdom of Heaven. Let's start our, our liturgy with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let's say together the sorry prayer. Jesus, our teacher, forgive us for the times we had not listened to you and those around us. May we love one another as you teach us to. Amen. Today's Gospel is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. So get our right hand with our thumbs, place a cross on our foreheads so that we always think about Jesus a cross on our lips to say that we should always speak about Jesus, and a cross on our hearts to say that we should always love Jesus. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man sowed good seed in his field. One night, when everyone was asleep, the enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the plants grew and the ears of corn began to form, then the weeds showed up. The man's servants came to him and said, Sir, it was good seed that you'd sowed in your field. Where did the weeds come from? It was some enemy who did this, he answered. Do you want us to go and pull up the weeds, they asked him. No, he answered, because as you gather the weeds, you might pull up some of the wheat along with them. Let the wheat and the weeds both grow together until harvest. Then I will tell the harvest workers to pull up the weeds first, tie them in bundles and burn them, and then to gather the wheat and put it in my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So again, Jesus tells a parable about growing crops, because that would be something that the people that Jesus was talking to would have been very familiar with. But even though he used things that they were familiar with and he used terms that they knew, they still didn't understand. So don't worry if you still think, what's he talking about? Because even the, the disciples and the people that Jesus was talking about, talking to, didn't understand. So then he said this. The man who sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the people who belong to the kingdom. The weeds are the people who have turned away from God, and the enemy who sowed the weeds is the devil. The harvest is the end of time, and the harvest workers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered up at the harvest, at the end of time, God will send his angels to collect up the weeds. Then God's people will shine like the sun in their father's kingdom. Listen then, if you have ears. What Jesus was trying to tell them is that if they want to go to heaven, then they need to listen to Jesus. And the same for us. If we want to make sure that we want to go to heaven, then we need to follow what Jesus tells us to. And that's why this parable is still very relevant for us. Even though we weren't the people that Jesus was originally talking to, he's still talking to us and he's still telling us this story. I think Jesus used these parables and stories to tell people about the kingdom of heaven. Why didn't he just tell them what it's like? Well, it's because they wouldn't have understood it. He wants to try and teach them what it's like. Sometimes we find ourselves not really understanding something. It might be something at school or at home. And our parents or our teachers or our grandparents will help us to understand. And that's exactly what Jesus was trying to do. Jesus is a teacher and in fact some of the people at the time would have called him rabbi which means teacher and Jesus was teaching lessons. He didn't want to just tell them because first of all they wouldn't have understood but also because by teaching them and by getting them to think about it then they learn more about the kingdom of heaven and they learn more about Jesus. If we were at school and we were learning how to tell time your teacher wouldn't just say it's half past two and they just expect you to know how to tell the time, they would have to teach you how to look at the clock and what half past two looks like and what 
two o'clock looks like and so on because you need to learn how to tell the time because it's not always half past two and so then you wouldn't know how to tell time if you just saw one one time and that's what Jesus was doing he wasn't just telling them what the kingdom of heaven was like he was teaching them and he was helping them to understand it for themselves so learning helps us to know more about the world and to understand how to work together to make the world a better place learning helps us to know more about Jesus and to know more about the things that he asked us to do learning helps us to know more about God so that we can be the people that God wants us to be over these past few months our learning has probably been a little bit different than usual hasn't it some of us have been learning at home some people have been going into school and learning much smaller classes some people have been learning over the internet and video calls so our learning has taken a bit of a change but we can learn in lots of different ways and we can learn from lots of different people so this week as we're coming to the end of term or as we're starting our summer holidays let's give thanks to all those people who we learn from our teachers our parents our grandparents the priests and let's thank god for giving us those people and helping us to learn more about the world and more about jesus and let's try over this week over this summer holiday to really learn from Jesus as we continue to listen to the parables that Jesus told and the miracles that he performed. Let's really learn more about Jesus together. This week's illustration behind me is another brilliant one from Lizzie. Um, it's available on our parish website and Facebook page. And the words say, grow in Christ. So it helps us to remember this parable that God sowed the seed, the good seed in the field, which is us, and let us remember to grow in Christ. So we'll end our literacy there. Let's try and remember this week, this parable, and also remember and give thanks for all those people who teach us and help us to learn. So we'll end our liturgy with the closing prayer. Loving God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to show us the way. Thank you for all people who teach us. Help us to listen and to learn. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us again this week. Have a lovely week. Enjoy the sunshine that's once again come out. And stay safe. We'll see you again next week. Bye bye.